According to a recent U.S. study, people who get Botox injections may develop new wrinkles. Well, one Toronto doctor says there's a wrinkle in that theory, and CFTO's Alicia K. Markson has an explanation. Dr. Stephen Mulholland of Toronto Spa Medica has been administering Botox injections to his patients to treat wrinkles since about 1980. Botox is made from botulism. Once injected, it relaxes facial muscles. He says the recent report in the journal Dermatology, which indicates those who receive the injections may develop new wrinkles, is not news to him. But he says a certified doctor knows how to prevent that. As you relax one area, other areas may compensate. And when they compensate, those other areas may cause some crinkling of the skin and new wrinkles. So an experienced injector will talk to a patient like Patricia and will point out in the face areas of the, uh, of the skin that crinkles currently with uh, the muscle animation, where the Botox will work, but most importantly, where Botox may need to be added. Now that we've relaxed her brow, what Patricia's going to want to do is take these muscles and go like this and cause crinkling of her crow's feet. And she didn't come in here to have her crow's feet look worse. So before she leaves, I will put a couple of units of Botox right here in her crinkle muscles of the corner of the eye. In most cases, patients can apply some makeup and go back to work the same day. But the doctor says there are risks associated with the procedure. Some patients may experience a temporary droopy eyelid, bruising, pain, and discomfort. Dr. Mulholland says before getting Botox injections, it's important to do your research. Make sure the person performing the procedure is a licensed medical doctor or works for a licensed medical practitioner. Find out how many procedures they've done and any complications they may have had, and be careful of any center that doesn't warn you of the risks or ask you to sign a consent document. Alicia K. Markson, CFDO News.